Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how to boost FPS and fix FPS drops in Fortnite Chapter 3. I'm going to show you how to drastically boost FPS in Fortnite using different optimizations, tweaks and settings to get the maximum performance out of your computer. These will make sure that you're getting the best FPS and as low latency or input delay as possible on your machine while gaming. Also these methods work for any other game that you might play as well, so feel free to use them even if you don't play Fortnite in particular. But before that, if you want to support my work, don't forget to leave a like on this video, it will only take you guys a second and it would help me out so so much and use code Regnetic for further support also if you want to see similar type of content in your youtube feed then make sure to subscribe to this channel and without any further ado let's get straight into today's video so the very first thing that we're going to be doing is disabling the full screen optimizations on our game launcher in order to do that just go ahead and open up your file explorer go into the drive where you have installed fortnite for me it's on my ssd and that's what i would recommend all of you to do and install fortnite on your ssd if you do have one then go into the program file Files, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64 and then we're just gonna go ahead and scroll down until we can find these four launchers. So what we're gonna be doing is right click on the first one, go into properties and go into the compatibility tab. Make sure that disable full screen optimizations is checked, change high dpi settings, override high dpi scaling behavior, scaling performed by it, set it to application and make sure that this is checked. Hit ok, hit ok once again and then go ahead and repeat the same step for all three of these as well. Once you are done with all 4 of these, and now we have successfully disabled the full screen optimizations and you should see a tremendous boost in FPS as well as lower input delay. Now you can close out of this and we can move on to the next step. So for this next step, we are going to be setting the Fortnite to high performance and in order to do that, go ahead and open up your start menu and search for GPU. Go ahead and open up graphics settings. Once this opens up, you should have another option if your hardware does support it. Hardware acceleration, make sure to enable that and then go ahead and set this to desktop app. Click on browse. Once again, go into the drive where you have installed Fortnite. Fortnite, then Fortnite game, binaries, win64, and now this time you only need to add the first one, the Fortnite client win64shipping.exe, which has the highest file size as well. So just go ahead and click on add, as I have already added it, then go ahead and click on it, click on options, and just set this to high performance, hit save. As you can see, I have done the same with Valorant, and you can pretty much do it with any game that you want. Now you can close out of this, and moving on, we're gonna go ahead and apply the Fortnite optimization pack, Reknetic. You can go ahead and download it from the link in the description by clicking on this thumbnail on my website just keep in mind that the website does contain some ads so if you do want to download it without viewing any ads then join my discord server the link can be found in the description as well and you can download the pack directly from there without viewing any ads regardless once you have downloaded the pack just go ahead and right click on it and extract it using 7-zip winrar whatever you want and once the pack is extracted go ahead and open it up inside of here you will find these bunch of folders and we're gonna be starting off with the batch tweaks so the first one is clean temporary files just right click run it as administrator press any key to continue and this is going to go ahead and delete all of the temp files from the prefetch folder, the windows temp folder as well as the local data temp folder. So press any key to continue, then disable process mitigations, right click run it as administrator and then let it just do its work. It's going to disable the process mitigations for most of the processes. Just go ahead and press any key to continue. Once it's done, go back into the pack once more. This time go into the device cleanup, right click on the device cleanup.exe and run it as administrator. Now as you guys can see that I regularly clean this so I don't have many devices. However for most of you you will see a lot of devices inside of here and all you guys would need to do is press ctrl and then a at the same time this is going to select all of the devices and then hit delete this is going to delete all of the devices that were once connected to your computer and are no longer there so once you have done that you can close out of this go back into the pack go into registry tweaks and hibernate in windows we're gonna go ahead and disable hibernation hit yes hit ok then go back and open up the user account control enable or disable this is not going to help you with performance however it is going to make sure that you can run more of the tweaks on your PC and it's also going to remove that annoying administrator rights pop-up box whenever you apply a new tweak. So go ahead and disable user account control, hit yes, hit ok. You can always go ahead and enable it from here when you want so there's nothing to worry about. Go back into the pack once more and 26 hex, this is actually the win32 priority separation value and it is probably one of the best for most of you guys to apply. However, if you still want to test more of these, you can go ahead and get them through my discord server. However, for most of the people, I would still highly recommend using this one. So just double click 
on it hit yes hit ok then disable gpu energy driver it is basically a useless driver in terms of getting performance so we're gonna go ahead and disable it so double click on it hit yes hit ok disable power throttling once again yes and ok and then there is the exclusive full screen which makes sure that all of your games run in exclusive full screen as recommended by their own vendors as well so double click on it hit yes hit ok fix mouse delay this is going to help you with the mouse input delay then the fortnite normal priority as i've told you guys time and again that you should run fortnite at normal priority i've seen a lot of people running it on high priority which is completely wrong so just double click on this one hit yes hit ok and then lastly use the thread priorities hit yes and hit ok and now we can go back into the pack now this time going to the Regnetic power plan the very first thing that we're going to be doing is applying the import power plan dot reg so you can go ahead and import any power plan just by double clicking on it instead of using the cmd so double click on it hit yes and hit ok and now you should see this little battery icon alongside the request power plan dot pow file if you don't see it just go ahead and refresh and it should be there once you see it just double click on it and it's going to import the request power plan and once it's done open up the power options inside of here just go ahead and expand down the show additional plans and it should be right there just click on it and now you have probably one of the best power plans out there now you can close out of this go back into the pack and lastly there are the windows settings so inside of device manager go ahead and open it up and what we're going to be doing is disabling the power management for our usb as well as our network adapter so we're going to go ahead and open up the network adapter right click on your driver click on properties go into power management and just make sure that this is all unchecked hit ok and then as for the usb power saving go ahead and open up view go into devices by connection and then you should see your usb enhanced controllers expand them down usb root hub properties power management and just make sure that this is turned off as well do the same thing for the other one as well expand it down usb root hub properties power management and uncheck this hit ok now once you're done with that open up the keyboard settings and inside of here just make sure that the repeat delay is set to short and the repeat rate is set to fast hit ok once again open up the mouse settings go into the pointer options and just make sure that enhanced pointer precision is unchecked and set this to the sixth point so take it all the way to the left and then using the arrow keys on your keyboard press them five times so that would be one two three four and five and it should be perfect hit apply and hit ok once you're done with that right click on the msi utility v3 run it as administrator and once this opens up just make sure to set your graphics card as well as your audio controller to msi mode if this says msi under the supported mode so for me i have already set all of the devices that do support msi mode to msi mode and as for the intra priority always go ahead and set this to undefined once you're done with that hit apply close out of this and then go ahead and right click on the unpark cpu cores.exe run it as administrator and just set this to 100% unpark all however if you are using my power plan then it should be by a default set to 100% and all should be unpark so yeah close out of this and now we are done with the pack there's also one little thing that you can do to improve your performance and that is to delete the fortnite cache files fortnite keeps up building cache files which can reduce performance from time to time so i would highly recommend you to delete those from time to time so in order to do that go ahead and open up your start menu search for run go ahead and open it up and once the run box opens up inside of here just type in percentage app data percentage go ahead and click on ok once you're inside of here go ahead and open up the app data then go into the local folder once you're inside of here go ahead and find the fortnite game folder right click on it go ahead and delete what this is going to do is completely reset all of the graphic settings but don't worry your controls and everything else will remain the same so only your graphic settings will be reset and if you guys want the best fortnite config file then i will leave a link to this video right here which is going to help you get the best fortnite config file that you can get right now however all that you need to do now is launch fortnite change your settings and that's it you should be getting a lot more performance and a lot lower input delay by now but if you want to get even more fps and lower input delay then click on this video right here